WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. This is the very first of February. It is Tuesday. Tiger Financial News Network. Market update, Basil Chapman here. This is 35,091, down 40 points in the S&P after two spectacular days, Friday and Monday. Friday didn't really count in the sense, if you're looking at the chart, it didn't even break above the Wednesday high. But look what happened yesterday. So now we've gone slightly above this Chapman wave inside uh, wedge or inside track repellent zone and i had said to subscribers to my opening call we can expect some kind of a uh, some kind of consolidation intraday here it would just be expected after such a spectacular move a couple of things we want to look at here with the dow uh moving very nicely you've also got the s p holding very well whoops s p right now is uh down 11 points and this is going to be fascinating why because the we are looking at, for instance, in, in the portfolio that I have for subscribers to my opening call, I mix value and growth. So within that context, how does the market hold up? Which is going to lead? Which is going to fail? And we've got the S&P now doing uh, down 20 points at 44.96. Leg B, gray leg B in the, in the daily chart. MACD hasn't yet crossed positive. I suspect this week it's going to try. And the weekly chart still is in a sell mode. <laughs> Very interesting. Let's go to the QQQ, NDX 100 down a three at uh, 360 we're looking at it hitting that 200 period how important is the 200 period moving average in my show the target technicians hour coming up in a few minutes i'm going to discuss this very matter and we're looking at sell mode in the daily sell mode in the weekly and the monthly chart is not a great candle iwm the russell 2000 is down to at 199 uh we now got the dow accelerating a little bit down to 72 starting to match the S&P, and the uh, IWM has been very weak, even though there was a really good session yesterday. It's gold I'm looking at because gold is an opportunity to rally nicely, and it just can't get legs to the upside. It's up four at 1,800, and the dollar, which broke out to a new recovery high with a doji candle, looks like a D. It's actually a peach C. It's down 33 ticks. You've got crude oil. Crude oil right now is holding okay. It's down 65. It's making a little bit of a top here. And you've got the TLT. We'll discuss when I get back. The Tiger Shazelle pulling back here for yields going high. Also, chap, you might be back. Tiger Shazelle.